It's time for a spelling analysis, and today we'll use our new phonogram, er. This is two letter er, so remember when we have a two letter er, it might be this one. Also, remember two letter er means twisting, so when you hear this phonogram, think about how the word might have something to do with twisting. We also will be using this one, and I want to review it because some people find this one tricky. What does it say? Ow, o, u, a, u. Let's do it one more time. Ow, o, u, a, u. All right, our first word is write. Please write your name at the top of the paper. Write. All right, go ahead and say write with me. Write. Let's sound it out. Er, I, t. Silent final E. Good job. Did you see? It's a two letter er. Go ahead and write write. All right, help me to write it. Ready? Er, I, t. Silent final E. How will we mark write? Well, underline the er. And what sound of I, I, E, yuck do we hear in write? You're right, it's the long sound. So we'll put a line over it. Why do we have a silent final E in write? To make the vowel say it's long sound. What would it say without it? Writ. But with it, it says write. Let's sound it out. Er, I, t, silent final E. Whoops, that was kind of silly. Er, I, t, write. All right, so I have a question. How does this word relate to twisting. Did you notice when you were writing that your wrist was twisting? That's why it's spelled with that phonogram. The next word is into. She went into the house. Into. Go ahead and say into. Let's hum it to find out how many syllables. Hmm. Hmm. Two. So we will say to spell in two. What will we say to spell? In, two. The first syllable is in, I, n. The second syllable is two, t, u. Do you got it? Go ahead and write into. Good, now help me write it. The first syllable is in, I, n. The second syllable is two, t, u. How will we mark it? You're right, this is saying it's broad sound. Ah, oh, ooh. So we'll put two dots over it. Let's sound it out. I, n, t, u, into. The next word is young. The kitten is very young, young. Go ahead and say young, young. Let's sound it out. Y, uh, use ow, o, u, a, u. Mm. Got it? I think you can do it. If you need a little hint, look at me. And if you don't need a hint, don't look at me. <laughs> All right, let's write young. Sound it out with me. Y, uh, mm. How will we mark it? Well, underline the uh. What sound of ow, o, u, uh, uh is this? Ow, o, u, uh, young. That's right, it's its fourth sound. So we'll put a four over it and we'll underline the ng. Mm. Let's sound it out. Ya, ya, ung, <laughs> ya, uh, ng, mm. young. Do you see it? Good. The next word is growing. I am growing a large tree in my front yard. Growing. Go ahead and say growing. Growing. How many syllables in growing? Hmm, hmm. Two. Say to spell growing. All right? Say to spell growing. The first syllable is grow. Let's sound it out together. G, er, o. Use an ow, o. The second syllable is ing. I, ng. Got it? Go ahead and write grow. Ing. All right, help me to write it. The first syllable is grow. G, 
G, R, O. The second syllable is ing. E, N. Very good. Now, how will we mark it? We'll underline the O. What sound of ow, o do you hear in grow? That's right, it's its second sound, o. Ow, o, grow. And how will we mark the second syllable, ing? We'll underline the ng. Now, I have a question for you. What happens if we take off this syllable? What word do we have? G, er, o, grow. Hey, do you see how we used the phonogram that we may use at the end to spell this? And then we added the suffix ing to get grow ing. Very good. The next word is rowing. I would like to try rowing the boat with you. Rowing. How many syllables in rowing? Hmm, hmm, two. We will say to spell row ing. Got it? What will we say to spell? Row ing. The first syllable is row. Let's sound it out. Er, o. Use an ow, o. The second syllable is ing. I, ng. Go ahead and write row ing. Good. Now help me to write it. The first syllable is ro. Er, o. The second syllable is ing. I, mm, ing. <laughs> Stumbled a little bit. All right, how do we mark rowing? You're right, we'll underline the O. And what sound of O, o is it? It's the second. And we will underline the ng. Mm. Let's sound it out together. Er, O, I, ng. Rowing. Very good. These are, again are some very interesting words. Combining the science of reading with the joy of learning. Learn more at foundations.logicofenglish.com.